failure is not the opposite of success it's just a part of success and you know success is not final and failure is not fatal it is your courage and your ability to bounce back that matters the most there are a lot of people who have failed in their lives miserably but what matters is their ability and courage to bounce back even after failing that optimistic attitude is going to be the differentiator so in this video i am going to share some of my failures which i had incurred during my entire journey and what were some of the lessons which i had learned through those failures but before we begin i'd like to thank an academy for sponsoring the video for ca foundation students there's a batch which has been announced by an academy called as champions 2.0 batch who are going to give their attempt in the month of november 2021 so it is at a very subsidized cost of rupees 4000 for one month subscription and if you use my code that is ca kushal you can get a 10% discount the batch is commenced from 5th of april 2021 and you can enroll for the same by clicking on the link given in the description box so let's watch this entire video I'll divide my failures into three parts. The first one being the academic failure, and this was one of the most terrible failures which I have faced because this was the first academic failure I had faced in my life. So as I have told you that I was also doing actuarial science during my article ship days, and I was not able to clear one level which was called as CT five at that time, which is core technical five. So I couldn't clear that exam in first attempt, and it took me second attempt to clear that examination. When I saw the result, and when I saw that this is the first time I have failed in any exam in my life, I was completely heartbroken, and I thought that is just the end of the world. but i spoke to my parents i spoke to my friends i spoke to my family and then i realized that this is nothing but a part of life so i realized it might be okay to fail because my efforts would not have been consistent or maybe there might have been lack of practice but this is not the reason to give up and this is not the reason to quit any particular thing so that was one of the biggest academic failures which i have faced and i thought as if like what face i'm going to show to the entire society to my relatives but after a span of time it was absolutely okay and everyone was normal with that failure because everyone forgets after maybe one year or maybe six months itself so that is not a thing to worry at all this is the first failure and the lesson learned was that everyone is going to forget even if you have failed after a point of time the second failure of my life would be the professional failure where i couldn't get into a company into the campus placements organized by icii so there was a special campus placement program organized by icii for rank holders and i couldn't get in deutsche bank because there were a lot of questions which are asked about current affairs so there were questions like what is the current account deficit of india as a percentage of gdp why was the pmc cooperative bank fraud had happened who were the major defaulters what was the yes bank crisis what was the reason of yes bank crisis some of the questions i could answer but some of the questions i couldn't answer what is the consumer price price index and the wholesale price index of india as of date so these were some of the questions which were asked to me in my current affairs round of deutsche bank out of which i was not able to answer a couple of them and therefore i was rejected by deutsche bank so this was the second failure and this was also one of the biggest failure which i would categorize into and when i was talking to my dad late evening i told him that i really wanted to get into deutsche bank because i was interested in investment banking but somehow he told me that there's something which will be better for you and don't worry at all because now you have a very good opportunity which would be there in front of you and i was so fortunate enough that after a month i gave interview in aditya birla group and i'm so lucky enough to be placed in this aditya birla group where only five of the people are there in the finance leadership program so the failure was being rejected by deutsche bank but what is the lesson learned that every failure has an opportunity which is involved in it so even if you fail in a particular thing just remember and think in this manner that there's something better which has been made for you and therefore you deserve that thing and not this thing because of which you have failed so this was the second failure so the third failure wouldn't be categorized as failure as such but it's just a normal failure where i'll say that i was not able to achieve what i wanted so there was a contest named mr rvg so rvg is the name of my hostel where i used to stay in for 3 years during my article ship and there were seven people who had participated in the contest of mr rvg and you know like when i told my friends that okay even i am going to participate some of them even laughed but that didn't demotivate me at all my purpose and my goal was that okay i have to go in front of stage i have to speak in front of 700 800 students and even if i don't become the mr rvg it's okay this would be a very enriching experience for me at least to share my introduction and my hidden talent in front of everyone so i was not able to become the mr rvg and i was the runner up and i was also a little sad after the results were announced because i really wanted to become mr rvg of the hostel but never mind again that failure also showed me a lesson that people are going to laugh at you and people are going to laugh on your dreams or on your goals but what is the lesson learned you don't have to allow anyone limit your dreams or your goals this is just a very simple example you can correlate this with the main goal or main dream of yours for example your dream is to become a billionaire or maybe your goal is to open a company which should have a unicorn value 
valuation in a span of 5 to 10 years if people are laughing on your goals then your dreams and goals are going in the right direction so if people think that you have gone crazy it means that you're going in the correct direction and don't stop at all and don't let anyone limit yourself or limit your dreams you just have to ensure that you don't get dismantled and you don't get heartbroken after failure because as tn monogran sir had also said in the interview that if you are feeling then you should not take that failure to your heart rather take that failure into your head analyze the reason what went wrong and ignore that mistake in the next step so that you don't fail again because of the same mistake but if you are successful don't take success to your head because you will get ego if you take success to your head rather take success to your heart celebrate it like a small boy who is given a chocolate or who is given an ice cream and after a couple of days just forget that because you have to move on in your life so this is wonderful advice which has been given and i think every one of us needs to follow this piece of advice i have realized one thing that people don't fail at all you know like you won't fail you won't lose you will win or you will learn because failure is going to teach you a lot of learnings and you shouldn't categorize that as something which you couldn't achieve instead you should categorize that as something which you weren't able to achieve because of something which was lacking in you but that's something you have to convert it into everything and you have to convert this failure into success in the near future you know if you haven't failed at anything it means that you haven't attempted anything because a person who doesn't try is not going to fail because he has not tried at all so there there are no chances of failing at all if he has tried doing something additional or incremental there are chances that he might get succeeded or he might fail also and if he's failing it means that he was the one who had the courage to attempt something new all these failures are going to teach us a lot of lessons and there would be a lot of pain behind all these failures because it is not easy to tackle failures and handle them at times but turn your pain into progress turn your pain into passion and turn your pain into positivity and once we convert this difficult pain into these three p's i think that'll be best because there is going to be a lot of pain and it's not going to be easy but at the end of it it's going to be worth it if you do things which are easy your life will become hard but if you do things which are hard and challenging then your life will become easy so you have to decide whether you want your life to be easy or hard because it is up to you whether you are able to do the challenging things and make your life easier well life is just filled with tests and exams and exams be it your academic exams be it your professional exams where you are asked to present in front of senior management or be it your other professional exam in terms of your mid year review or final year confirmation review where you are going to be asked questions based on the performance which you have done over the course of one year or be it any other exam which life is going to throw upon you in terms of any challenges hurdles or obstacles whenever you have been impacted by some failure or whenever you think that you are demotivated and you can't move ahead and you are stopped or you are stuck in that place remember one thing you have to ask yourself why did i start this in the first place what was the motive behind starting this activity or behind starting this initiative what were some of the goals or what were some of the dreams i had in my mind when i started this activity when i started this initiative and once you get the answers to all these three questions then it'll be very easier for you to sit back and give your best once again and go with the flow even if you have been set back with a lot of failures or with a lot of hurdles in your life well to conclude with it's like success introduces you to the world but failure introduces the entire world to you and once you're exposed to this entire world then you'll understand like this world is not small at all there are a lot of issues which everyone is facing and everyone has some or the other amount of stress in their lives be it a college student giving his examinations be it a graduation student who wants to apply in one of the most reputed universities in india or be it a student who has been graduated and he wants campus placement jobs and he wants to go in one of the best management consulting firms or private equity firms so there's always going to be this mental stress behind you in whatever phase of your life you are in but what is important over here is that how you tackle this stress how you be mentally peaceful in terms of not thinking about the negativity which is going on and eliminating the entire stress by indulging into some of the hobbies or activities that release your stress and make your mind refreshing so this is very important i hope that you would have understood what are some of the failures which i had incurred and what is that one lesson which i had learned from all the failures i hope this video was useful for all of you if you do like this video share it with all your friends and subscribe to my channel so that i can create more videos for all of you thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video